Christine. Yes. Hello, Christine. I'm Tristan from the Philippine Pageantry. I was sort of met you in 2015 during the Philippines, and during your crowning, you sort of steered the hornet's uh, nest, so to speak, when you were assigned or when you were crowned intercontinental again after joining. Yes. And that's the first time I think I believe ever in any pageant history or any pageant stage that the same candidate, the same person, competed on the same contest, coming from different uh, organizations, but you won first runner up on your second try. So how, and when you were, when we uh, sent out teasers yesterday for your sashing today, a lot of people sort of had a clue that it was you, especially this morning when your friend Raymond outed you, <laughs> uh, when he posted about it. But now, you said it's a bloodbath. How are you going to kill your competition? <laughs> well, we know how you can kill them, so... Coming from a background of competitive sports, I can't deny that I, I'm very competitive by nature. But I wouldn't want to say I'm going to kill the competition, and if I do, I'll kill it with kindness. <laughs> um, um, but I'm honestly just exhilarated to be, as a pageant fan myself, to see all these queens coming back. Even, you know, Chris, who crowned me. Yeah, uh, these are girls that I'm friends with. There, there's also newcomers. I just met Stacy the other day, and she's such an incredible woman, too. I mean, I'm just excited to be part of such an iconic year. And I'll, I also say nothing good comes easy. So I'm very appreciative of the challenge and the competition. And uh, win or lose, I'm going to do my best, that's for sure. So you're focusing now on the Miss Universe Philippine stage, or you're more focused now on the Mexican stage? Mexico. Oh. I've been telling all of my friends, we cross the bridge, we're going to cross, you're going to sashay your way there. Sashay your way, I mean, I, I mean, I hope so, and I appreciate that, but um, I, I do want to say that I, you need to tackle each moment day by day. I want to live in the moment, I want to live very presently. I'm not going to count, count my eggs before they hatch, but there's no denying that I have my eyes set on the Miss Mexico, I mean, on the Mexican stage, for sure. And my last question, you're, you're the one, the most glamorous of uh, former Miss Philippines ever, with the gaps that you have shown uh, during the Miss Intercontinental. And of course, when you when you post about your outfits on your social media, when you went to the Burning Man or um, party in the States or something like that, yeah. are you going to bring that on the Miss Universe Philippines stage, the modernity, the glam, etc.? One million percent. I definitely want to showcase uh, Philippine talent um, and fashion at the forefront of my, my journey. It's definitely going to be something that I want my friends who I work with very closely in the industry to be a part of because it takes a village. It's not just me that's going to win. I want to win this for the entire Philippines if I do. Um, but I definitely want to show myself as an individual. I do consider myself a creative. Um, I love art and the music industry, which I'm very close up to as well. So you'll definitely see within my fashion choices you know, something modern, a lot of fresh things, pulling from some of the best designers in the nation, while still adhering to being a queen. So I want to keep it classy, and I want to make sure I please the fans and give them what they want. So all the fans, please uh, come along with me on my journey and let me know what you what you like. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you. So another question from our uh, friends from the media. Anyone? Anybody? Okay. <laughs> Okay. All right, so Christy, you will win. But aside from, yeah, but aside from this winning the crown, what is your biggest fear when you're missing your student history? Aside from slipping on stage, I, I suppose my biggest fear um, would not be to be authentically showcased myself and the queen that I want to be. I hope throughout my journey that it's very transparent who I am. I want to be able to, you know, transpire the confidence that I've gained throughout the years, and I want that to be able to project and inspire fans or the Philippines, you know, to, to, tr to trust me with the responsibility. So my biggest fear would be not being able to do that, but my hope is that I will. So. All right, my friends, ready to name on the cell phone, you Why should you be the next <laughs> person?
อุเลตไม่ได้ตะนองไม่ได้ตะนองไม่ตะนองไม่ได้ไปแถวไม่ตะนองMiss Universe 
Festival of Insight 2023 to assist us with a symbolic session from one queen to another, a rare mesmerizing sight to behold. <laughs> Perfect. 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 Joining us to give a bouquet of flowers to our newly stashed queen is Ms. Birma Apostol and Mr. Angel Kamya, Ms. Universe Philippines to give accredited partners. having a strong contender with immense talent and esteemed portfolio in the pageant world, the social media will go wild and nuts about this news. <laughs> so tell us, how are you holding up with the pressure and the challenge? Well, to be completely transparent, I can't deny that I am feeling a bit of pressure, but it's also quite exhilarating to be in this position. I mean, as you know, this competition this year is quoted a bloodbath. There's going to be so many incredible, amazing queens that are coming back and also new faces that are to watch out for. I just feel it's a complete blessing to be a part of this year's competition and I can't wait to show you guys what's in store. Well, nonetheless, the entire team of the is packing you up. <laughs> Alright, Joyce? Hi, Christy. What an Joyce. exciting day, finally meeting you. Alright, so Christy, you will represent a city that is like a big melting pot of talent, progress, and with a bright vision. Could you tell us? How do you plan to showcase the city to the universe stage? Well, not only is Tagig City, you know, upholding cultural values like the rest of the provinces, but I really think what sets Tagig City apart is that we are at the forefront of modernity, of innovation, of progression, and I think that's exactly what I do embody as a candidate, a very modern, ambitious woman that's at the forefront of, you know, setting a precedent, inspiring others, and um, just trailblazing the way. So, someone that's ever evolving, someone that's always progressing and improving, and that's only what I hope to showcase on not only the Miss Universe Philippines stage, but on the Miss Universe stage if we given the opportunity. Woo! Wow! Wow! That's certain. The men are looking forward to seeing you there, and everybody will definitely root for you. All right, so at this point in time, I'm pretty much sure that many of our friends from the media is already aching all right, to ask their question to our queen. And so without further ado, we're finally opening our segment for the question and answer. <laughs> Maybe we have the list, please. <laughs> Adam. 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 We call on uh, Adam, Adam? Oh, yeah. Yeah, to, uh, to ask the first question for this session. Good afternoon. Christy, grabe. Long time no see. I know. It's been like what? Almost a decade since your last parade in pageantry. Correct. We didn't. What, what prompted you to join Miss Universe Philippines and come back? and come out of your hiatus? <laughs> well, aside from the recent age restriction that's been lifted, um, even prior, if you're, if you're familiar, which most of you are, with the Philippine Filipinas organization, if you had won a coveted crown, you weren't allowed to compete again for another. And it wasn't until MUP separated the franchise, I was already, I already surpassed the age restriction. So, you know, well, like, it's, it's put, my dream was a bit put on the back burner, but once, you know, the age restriction was lifted is one of those things like, oh my god, like, the like, is this, is this actually happening? Is what I told myself prior that I would do, and given the opportunity, am I going to take it? And of course, with the help and motivation, and the, um, from friends and family, and the support, 
it's one of those once in a lifetime opportunities. It's one of those make or break it, like grab the bull by its horn situation. And there's no going back. So it's a now or never situation for me. And I just wanted to take the opportunity full force. So all this time, you you're, you're, you have been still harboring your of competing internationally. I've definitely dreamt about it and meditated about it. Um, it's something that's always stayed in the back of my mind, knowing that I have this kind of purpose to fulfill. And I know it might sound a little cheesy or cliche, but it's something told me that the universe was calling, that the stars were aligning, and I believe in everything in its right place and time. And there's something about it that tells me this is my place and time. Last question, how different are you this time around? Well, obviously, I consider myself a lot more self-aware, a lot more self-assured. Um, I've definitely empowered myself as a woman throughout the years, I'm a lot more confident in my own skin, and I can't wait to showcase that on the stage. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. All right, thank you so much. Well, another question? Hi, Christy. Hello. What do you think is your edge over the other candidates? And do you think your experience in, in pageantry is your greatest advantage? <laughs> um, as you mentioned, I think my edge is my experience. Um, but although it, it is honestly the climate of the pageant industry has changed a lot, especially with the aspect of social media being a massive part and role in comparison to when I competed the first time. Uh, but aside from my experience, like I said, I just feel like I'm a very self-assured woman. I feel confident, I feel relaxed and calm in, in places of pressure and tension. Um, I do have a height advantage, that's also true. And I would love to see another Morena on the stage. So um, hopefully those things will put me at an advantage this time around. What is your advocacy? Well, something that's been very close to my heart, especially being a host of a travel show called Beached on Metro Channel. We mainly focus on sustainability and ecotourism, so it's something I feel really passionate about. It's not just an, an environmental problem, but it is a humanitarian problem because it's something that affects the food that we eat, the water that we drink, the air that we breathe. So I definitely want to put that at the forefront of my advocacy, working with organizations like Planet Cora, which I have in the past. And I'm also planning to work very closely with my friend Kim Cruz's recent organization, nonprofit called Calma which focuses on art for children to face and deal with childhood trauma. So. Alright, so uh, anyone from the crowd? Right. <coughs> Hi, Christine. Hello. Good afternoon. Once again, congratulations for uh, representing the big city. Um, since your last competition, 2015, correct me if I'm wrong, how was your preparation now going to the Miss Universe of Philippines? In comparison to my last yes. one? Well, my last competition, well, Bini Bini Filipinas was definitely the hardest amongst all the other pageants I had done previously. Um, I, I'm so grateful to have, have had the guidance and help from my previous camp aces and queens, who I still consider a very close part of my life and my pageant journey. Uh, this time around, I've been in the industry for quite some time. I've created some amazing friends and bonds and relationships. So I'm slightly building my own little power team, but I'm still working very closely with individuals from aces who I love very much and with some of the best in each of their respective fields. Um, I'm sure you guys will find out about them soon. Uh, so I'm just proud to also take harness of my own branding and letting everyone know who I am and who I want to be as a queen this time around. Follow up question. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, you are now an independent candidate. You can say that, yes. And last na lang, Christy, would it be okay if you could introduce yourself now? Wait, 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 Hello, I'm Christy Lynn Landrino. Oh, excuse me. Ah. <laughs> you guys <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Hello, I'm Christy Lynn Landrino McCary, proudly representing the city of the gig. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Christy McCary, then I'm Christy Lynn Ladrino McCary, proudly representing the city of the gig. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so perhaps another question from our crowd. Yeah, so, uh, Ms. Diane. Hi, Diane. Could you join us here? We are a, bit, oh. a short bit of time. Hi, Christy, you look gorgeous. Thank you, so do you. Can you tell us about your outfit first of all? Because it's really stunning. Well, I'm very prestigiously wearing the one and only Rahul Laurel. Um, it's definitely a, a, a massive prestige for me to be, you know, wearing one of the pioneers and ultimates in the Filipino fashion industry. So it's, it's a blessing. And I definitely wanted to start my pasado with, with a bang. So. Wow. <laughs> so Chrissy, you said that you're slowly building your power team. Um, can you tell us some of your team members that you can already announce, maybe, who's helping you and, uh, I guess, helped you with the decision? Um, well, the decision collectively was amongst a bunch of friends, close friends in the industry. There are some that I won't disclose, um, just because I don't want to really, you know, release all my pasta books yet. But I have a very close relationship with Mon Gutierrez and my best friend Ash Rai. Who are Like we're pushing you to join again. He's one of a few, yes. Um, we've been close friends for a very long time. I trust all of his advice. He's been in the industry for a while. So not only as a professional, but as a friend, I take his advice very dearly. I'm also working with many others. There's Jim Ryan Ross, who's with Aces, who has been with me from the very start of meeting me um, I'm catwalk training with Ian. I'm working with Q&A with Mama Elmo and Robert. Mama Elmo's watching. Oh, hi. Hi, Mama Robert. Well, <laughs> um, and so uh, yeah, that's about it. And there's there's more that you're gonna see come out of the woodwork that I'm working very closely. I'm sure you guys have an idea who um, who I'm amused of and who I plan to to bring with me throughout the journey. Okay, so you've had like more experience, as you said, compared to the other pageants. You've always dreamed of joining Miss Universe and having seen you know Miss Universe the last couple of years. What do you think it's going to take for you, for the Philippines, to make it to the top five and maybe win a crown, another crown again? Like, what's important now to Miss Universe and the Kita Mo? I think now that Miss Universe is also taking a much more inclusive, inclusive approach, it's not just about a pretty face, it's definitely about charisma. I think it's about someone who can honestly hone confidence and a natural ability to lead and to inspire within their own skin and right. And I think that's something that will project on stage, something that happens naturally, and I just hope that's something that I can project as well and that people can see. Last for me for now, so what on an age limit, no? You're in your 30s. Would you think that is an optimum age to join Miss Universe? You know, I don't think there's more say an optimum age. My grandma always said age is, nothing, uh, age is a state of mind. I think it's about the way that you carry yourself and your maturity, but there's no doubt at the age that I am at, I have gained a lot of amazing knowledge, wisdom, and experience that I think would benefit me on the Miss Universe stage. Thank you, Ms. Diane. Uh, anybody from the crowd? Uh, would you come and join us here? Yeah. Hello, Christy. Hello. Congratulations. Mama. Okay. It's been nine long years since uh, the last time you competed yeah. in the national uh, pageant. Uh, are there uh, adjustments uh, on your part as far as preparation and training? And since this is a very different uh, national beat pageant with just one title at stake. Well, there being only one title at stake, which is the ultimate title, it definitely makes the competition a lot harder. You know that everyone's hungry for one goal and one crown solely, so everyone's going to bring their absolute best. Like I mentioned before, the climate's different because back when I was competing in Bini Bini Filipinas, social media wasn't a massive factor. Now content creation and social media plays a huge role, so everyone needs to absolutely bring their forefront, not only in person, but also in their social media personality. Um, aside from that, uh, being a beauty queen, I like to say, is like, kind of like riding a bike. It's something that even if you take a break from it, you still know how to turn it on and you still know how to you know, pick back up from where you left off. So I'm just excited to train again um, and, and get back into the game. Okay, that's my last question. What is your reaction when this university, uh, when you get the awards, 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 when you get
Well, Pia, gratefully, she's not only my batch sister, she's not just a friend, but she's also someone that I idolize, she's someone I respect and I look up to. She's someone that I consider not only one of the best Miss Universe Philippines, but ultimately one of the best universes in the history of the organization. So for her to have encouraged me and to support me um, means everything. And I'm just grateful for not only her advice as you know a, a past winner or previous winner, but I'm, I'm more grateful for her, her help and her support as a friend throughout this. Um, very well said. Congrats on that one. Better question? All right. Um, our host this evening, the lovely live music that we have, Carlo, my photography videographer, uh, my friends that came out to support, Rajo for the good, beautiful garment that I'm wearing, Pia for my shoes, actually, um, Jim Ryan Ross for my makeup, Jack Aguilar for my hair, and most importantly, I wanted to thank Angel and Burma and our accredited partners in the city of the Cape for the amount of trust that they put on me and instilled in me for this competition. And I really hope to represent the city of Tagig to my absolute fullest and aptitude. And of course, the vault for hosting this, this afternoon. Hope you guys enjoy the food. And I hope you guys are going to be with me every step of the way of this journey. And um, I'm excited to have you guys on board. Yeah. 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 Yeah.